Hello, our Pagan Opinions. This is Kara for Thursday, and we are talking about the Great Rite. What a topic! Um, the question was, what are our thoughts and opinions on the Great Rite? Now, that's a very, very broad question. So, I'm going to do my best to try and narrow it down, because um, I can go anywhere here, but I guess that's the point. Thoughts and opinions on the Great Right. Well, okay, I'm not going to get into any of my personal experiences with the Great Right because it's personal. And saying that leads me into the depth of how I feel about the Great Right, which is a very intense, sacred explosion, union, um, you know, thing. And, you know, there's not one way to do it. I don't give a shit what the books say. Um, honestly, witchcraft isn't taught in a book. <laughs> Paganism isn't taught in a book, honestly. I mean, it comes from deeper than that. While the books can be a guide, and I know that a lot of things I say make a lot of you go, fuck that. You know, seriously. If you just put the books down, and, you, and you've already got a grasp for the heart of the matter and then put, put the books down for a little while I'm going on a side tangent here for a second but it's relevant and get in touch with your soul and get in touch with nature and quit listening to what books and words and teachers and so-called teachers and all these people are telling you because <clears throat> Because you can't learn true witchery, true paganism that's true to your core from a book, okay? Now why I went there is because there's lots of books that talk about what the Great Rite actually is, blah blah blah. Bottom line is the Great Rite is the symbolic union or the physical union of earthly or astrally bodies, energies, male, female, masculine, feminine, the marriaging, the merging of these two energies. And in ritual, man and woman come together and they take part in this physical act of sexual intercourse to represent, to embody, to invoke, to harness, to ignite, to project, all, all that is, you know, <laughs> feasible, all that is applicable, the union of man and woman, masculine, feminine, male, female, yin, yang, okay? So, a lot of people, especially more modern day paganism, which is Wicca, we're, we're, even though our society these days, and you have to forgive me if I'm going all over the place, because you left me with an open-ended question, so that lets my mind go all over the place. So, anyway, we live in a society nowadays which is seemingly more open more explorative, more extroverted, more wild, more uninhibited, all these things. But in actuality, our society is more prude, more reserved, more uptight, more frazzled easily by the simplest of things. <coughs> Today, more than most cases in history. I'm not talking about the Victorian, Puritan, you know, those special segments, those isolated segments of history. Everything around that kind of stuff, those pinpointed aspects that we can pull out of our history books and mine, everything else is pretty freaking primal and pretty out there more than the confines of our societies, American, European, modern day 
societies could even handle. So, and paganism obviously was rampant through most of this time period as well. And so the act of sex, the act of union of male and female was not so guarded as such a secret, private, you know, dirty thing. So the act, the great rite, was celebrated openly all over the place. And if you look in paganism, no matter what vein of paganism you're looking in, you see the symbolic great rite everywhere. And for a simple example, the maypole embedded into the earth around springtime. That's the great rite right there. Um... You know, you got the, the rod, the pole, going straight up, straight into the earth, penetrating her. That's symbolic of that. Um, and there's countless examples of that all over the place, if you look for them. Even in our modern day society of Masonic, you know, <laughs> witchcraft that is our ruling classes of government, you can see paganism symbolism everywhere. If you look at the obelisks that are in different parts of the world, <clears throat> the big pillar plunged deep into the earth, usually surrounded by water. Um, you know, so the great right, now I went off on a tangent about the, <clears throat> the uh, prudishness of our society. So let me go back to that. <laughs> Being that our societies, especially more modern day paganism, new, new neo paganism, blah blah blah, Wicca, modern day, we are more prude. <laughs> You're not going to find many covens out there, or many practitioners, or pagan groups of people just out there boinking in the open having a ritual and then having a feast and you know you're not going to see that these days and most people will shudder at that they'll be like no way we ever see me do that so instead of the actual great right in its physical earthly and human embodiment we have all this symbolism we have the cup and the chalice and the sword and the athame and the wand and the ring, and the, you know, we have all this stuff to symbolize the great right and manifesting and conjuring that great feminine masculine union of energy instead of the actual physical act. Now, that's all well and good, and that's all great, wonderful, yee-haw, and that works just fine, because the whole idea of the great right is to manifest, honor, embody, conjure, whatever, the energies Union of the energies of masculine and feminine. Have I said that? Have I covered that already in this video? I think I have. Okay. So, you can do that in any way you feel like you want to. Um, for any reason that you feel that you want to. And the great right for me has always bled over into Tantra. Because Tantra embodies that completely. The yin and yang. The male-feminine union. The fact of the matter that the sexual union does explode our consciousness, it does open up our portals, um, it does create a complete circuit, you know, um, electromagnetically completes the circuit. You can reach divine aspects of consciousness through conscious, purposeful, heightened sexual union you know, stuff. So, it's awesome. The Great Rite is something that happens whether you know it or not, you know, in your daily life. If you're having sex, you're having the Great Rite unconsciously. But of course, yeah, there's the whole aspect of ritual, being surrounded by your coven members, being surrounded by people who are helping to harness and channel this energy for either the sacred honoring of it, period, play, point blank, or to harness the energy for a purpose. 
Um, you can do it for anything. It's just the energy. And I think it, it's very intense. It's, it, it, it intensifies, you know, some people, some covens do it or have done it um, for initiation purposes. You know, that's a whole ball of wax that, you know, if you want to get into that kind of thing, that's up to you. Um, not necessary at all. And anybody who tells you that something like that is necessary to be in their coven, if you're not comfortable with it, don't do it, because it's not a requirement. Unless you want to partake. But, um, yeah, so that's kind of where my mind goes with this whole thing. Those are my thoughts about it. Um, take it or leave it. You know, I'm leaving a lot out just because... I don't want to get stuck in going in one solid direction. I'm just trying to kind of embody the energy of the entire concept and put forth little tidbits of what could be relevant. Take it as you will, you know, spin off on it in any direction because you can, that you will. So that's really all I have to say about it. Um, I'm not going to get too in depth in the technicalities or specifics about anything because it's not necessary or relevant even to the question and uh, and yeah some things certain things most things honestly in my opinion most things regarding your spirituality and the pagan path you must find out on your own dear ones um, yeah so that's all I have to say about that really uh, God is there anything I'm leaving out if there is please leave me a comment I will get back to it as soon as I can um, whenever I log into my personal account is when I usually answer comments on this page, on this channel page. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Am I leaving anything out? Anything else? That's it. Great Rite is awesome, though. I mean, take it or leave it. Sy symbolically or physically or if you just want to do it in the privacy of your own home with your own partner, with your own sacred husband, you know, <laughs> you want to just perform the Great Rite every night with your partner you can you know if you want to do it in a group on a stage in front of an audience go for it if you want to do it in a coven go for it if you don't want to do it and you just want to uh, you know bask in the symbolism of it of day-to-day -day life within everything that there is regarding that then do so you know it, all it is really is just the union of ma masculine and feminine energy um, yeah, so, yay, blessed be y'all, and I'll talk to you next week.